always want to scream. And we're live. <laughs> Don't scream, it freaks people out. Uh, hey folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, the Cacophony Edition. Uh, if you've seen this before, you know how it works. These three individuals are in the urban environment, the urban jungle. Uh, not quite asphalt yet because it's still medieval. If you haven't seen it, uh, same concept. Uh, these guys are going to be urban outfitters. Uh, they are not our sponsors. Unfish Games <laughs> are our sponsors, and they're doing a bang-up job for us. Uh, before we get to who's playing tonight, uh, let me remind you that Gen Con is coming up. Uh, Adventures in Philbar will be having two sessions if Gen Con ever approves it, uh, one on Friday night and one on Saturday night. So 31st and the 1st, I think, uh, 8 o'clock, two hours, four players, uh, get with me early and I'll send you some swag. Uh, also at Gen Con is Adventure Sense and Oddfish Games. Uh, they're going to be hosting two sessions of their upcoming game, How to RPG with Your Cat. It's a tabletop RPG where your cat, as a minion of chaos, as they all are, uh, acts as the dice. Yikes. Feline uh, overlords. That's what that's you mean. Line Overlord is a good one. This game can either be played as a standalone RPG or integrated with other RPG systems. We're encouraging everyone to bring your own cat and play. Uh, they wrote the adventure specifically for the session, and it is called Trouble on the Sphinx. Uh, sounds like it's <laughs> going to be a meowing experience. Uh, that dad joke aside, let's get to the players who, who will be enjoying your company tonight at fourth level. We will start off with the youngest and perhaps most ferocious murder hobo, Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Tonight, I am Daphne, looking for Fred, Scooby, Velma, and Shaggy. I don't know where they went, but I'm on this adventure now. I am a tiefling, of course. Ha ha ha. Why would I be anything else? And I'll be playing a paladin. And sorry, I've been gone for so long, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to kill your character just right off the bat, just so you know. Right out <laughs> uh, the door. <laughs> right at the door. Right. From under these nuts is going to kill you. Uh, David, you are up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? All right. I'm David. Regular on Cacophony. Got the t-shirt. Uh... <laughs> I will be playing Zadar. He is our non-binary, gender-fluid, uh, changeling, arcane trickster. So, should be fun. He I just leveled up, too. I hate changelings. He hates changelings. He really does. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, normally our producer. She is producing tonight and playing as uh, a regular on Cacophony. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? I am married to him. And, of course... Women can do two things at once, so I'll be producing and playing in the game. And uh, I'll be playing Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes to use fog cloud. Gauntlet can, thrown down, Frank. <laughs> I, I can eat and think of sex, so that's two things. Uh, <laughs> folks, remember, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like what David and I and Carrie are wearing, uh, it's there. If you want to chat with us on Discord, it's there. Uh, if you, Most importantly, if you want a seat on here or on the talk show, uh, give us a shout, Inc. That is Twitter and Gmail. Uh, let us know. We'll try and get you squeezed in there. Don't forget to look for adventure um, uh, oddfishgames.com and adventures in Philbar at Gen Con. Coming to you soon. Uh, folks, let's get this uh, going. Uh, if you saw the title card, you know what's going on. If not, I'll give you a quick recap. Uh, these three adventurers in good standing are sitting in the office of the guild master Famunda these nuts in cacophony uh discussing recent events uh when yelling is heard uh folks the door is slammed open and a man in pastoral ro robes uh comes in with uh fault Leroy, trusted uh henchman of these nuts uh quickly behind him uh master excuse me uh the archdeacon henson is here to see you and he will not wait uh from under these nuts 
waves away Fauntleroy, who steps out and shuts the door. The harried archdeacon uh, stammers out that his church is currently being wrecked by a g g g ghost, Daphne, <laughs> and he requires the assistance of the guild immediately. <laughs> uh, these nuts pauses momentarily, maintaining his calm composure. We'll help. Get outside. We'll call you in in a second. Uh, once the door closes, Fomunda D's nuts addresses you in a low tone and points out uh, the archdeacon is from the Church of Guest, and they are not fans <laughs> of the Adventurers Guild. Oh, there right. have been, never will be, don't like it. Uh, but uh, in lieu of recent events, uh, the Church of Guest is known for specializing in healing. Uh, so, if uh, so, uh, as you go into the chapel of Guest, Flamundides Nuts says, uh, "Keep an eye out for some healing stuff. Uh, maybe we can help the councilman regain consciousness. Don't get caught." And don't steal unnecessary shit. But if you can find some healing magic, uh, I'll pay you for it, or you can keep it. Uh, does that work for you three? Don't steal unnecessary yeah. shit, but we can still steal stuff if it's necessary. And we don't get caught. And you don't get caught. I think not getting caught is the operative. Yeah, robbing a church inside a city might give, might give a little bad press to the Cacophony Adventurers Guild, but <laughs> you are adventurers, so it's hard to tell. Uh, once all three of you agree, uh, Dee's Nuts reminds you he will pay top dollar for stuff, uh, on top of what uh, Lord Highbrow, as he calls him, uh, oh, is Lord. willing to pay. Uh, the Archdeacon uh, is summoned back in, and he and uh, Flamunda says, "These are three of our top women and man. Uh, these guys will solve your problem for just the right price." Uh, the Archdeacon is in quite the hurry. Uh, beads of perspiration falling from his brow, uh, and he says. Eh, you know, he, he ran from the chapel to here, and you'll understand why he's sweating. Uh, he goes, let's go. He hikes up his cassock so he can Ooh. run faster, and you can see his feet. Fred Flintstone it. Out the door he goes, uh, constantly looking back to make sure that you are following him. Uh, do you want to keep up, or do you guys want to follow at a reasonable distance? I'm not running. <laughs> It's a ghost. Where's he going? Where's our, our musical mantra on Taj to run to it? With dun, 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 dun. Oh, where's Baywatch? We need the Baywatch theme song, Scott. You're going to have to get that gap again, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I still have it. So uh, what do you think? You guys want to do that? Sure. Of course. Okay. You're going to follow. He's going to run behind uh, the Adventurers Guild. And through the central plaza where the old dinosaur skull is, which some of you are familiar with, uh, <laughs> as he runs, he is constantly uh, checking behind him. And in several instances, he <laughs> runs into several people knocking them down. Uh, so you finally reach the chapel, which is a surprising distance away, but the old gizzard can still haul ass when he needs to. Uh, he gets to the door and there's a beautiful sign symbolizing the wealth of the city that says Chapel of Guest. Uh, he fumbles through his pockets and he hands each one of you a small vial with uh, blue fluid and he takes a vial with clear fluid out, gives it to two, Camille, and says, this is holy water. It may help you in getting rid of the ghost. Each one of you has been given a potion of healing. That is the blue one. Camille has been given the holy water. Uh, everybody roll perception. What if I'm thirsty? Can I just drink it? Sure. You have no soul. It'll be fine. 
Sure. <laughs> Perception? Uh, uh, 20. Not natural. Doo, doo, doo. 13. Daphne? 17. I have to step away for just one moment. I'm sorry. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> uh, while she's gone, I'm going to go ahead and roll my pirate dog die to see if they are going to hear what they hear or not hear. <laughs> I rolled a five, so all three of them, using my pirate dog dice, uh, <laughs> hear what happens next as we wait on Daphne, uh, who may be ordering vegan pizza. We aren't sure. Uh, there is a knock on the door. Could be a serial killer. We could be watching a homicide in progress. Folks. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, but for you two, uh, you guys can safely stow your potions in one of your many pockets. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't even have to listen to the door. You will hear a cacophony. Oh, he said it. That's right. I said he said the title uh, the of noise coming from within the chapel. Uh, it sounds like shit be breaking and fighting be going. Uh, his lordship, Archdeacon, uh, points out. I hope my acolytes are okay. <laughs> he left them in there alone? He left them in there so that he could come to the Adventurer's Guild and get help. Meanwhile, Daphne, uh, all three of you hear just a horrible noise from within the chapel. Uh, and clearly, there's a brawl. It's got to be a brawl. It's uh, It's got to be the Red Sox-Yankees game. Any game, pick a game. It's always always the same. Uh, there's fight inside. Uh, Archdeacon goes. Right. Oh, Come you want with us, uh, Mr. You want Deacon? Us? I will go ahead and keep the crowd back. I don't see a crowd here. There's bound to be a crowd soon, <laughs> and, <laughs> and a few people also hear the noise, and eh, their ears kind of perk up. Uh, yeah. you're, you're kind of off in a secluded section of town overlooking uh, a region of the docks. So uh, lots of people are going to be coming here, right? Well, you know what? Uh, he does point out that uh, I am paying you guys to go ahead and resolve this problem. Oh, so you're going to be a bit of a dick. That's <laughs> uh, it's one of my NPCs, so I think the obvious answer is yes. Yes. All right, yes. so let's hit, yes. open this door and see what's going on. Who wants to open the door? I will. Who wants to walk in first? I will. <laughs> <laughs> As you enter a round metal serving plate, flies right about eye level. Zidar, oh, wow. I'm going to need you to give me a DC 12 versus dexterity to deftly avoid it. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Not too bad. 20. <laughs> uh, you duck below, however, uh, the Archdeacon takes one right in the back of the head with a resounding clang. Uh, a peer in Zadar shows that shit is flying through the air, uh, and for some shit reason- Shit is crazy. You don't see John Wayne in there. Yeah. Uh, so there is just, there's crap being thrown through the air. Uh, there are people down. Uh, the chapel itself is wide open, but it has uh, one, two, three, four stone columns keeping the arched roof up. Uh, the altar is near the back, uh, bodies strewn everywhere, and crap is flying through the air. Who is second into the chapel? <laughs> Daphne, DC 12. My backup. There we go. Look, there's an altar. Are you going in? I'm going to go into the altar. DC 12 oh. versus dexterity because shit's getting thrown at you. <laughs> Ooh, it's so loud. Um, 17. 17 is good enough to avoid yep. the goblet flying through the air. Uh, it does uh, clang off Archdeacon's chin just as he grabs Camille. Camille, he yanks you close and he goes, I probably should have told you. Uh, one, of our, one of our acolytes went crazy and we think it might be Friar Swanson. He went down into the crypts. The crypts are located in the far left. And then a goblet 
hits the Archdeacon, knocking him out. Camille, uh, are you going to jump into the fray here? Yeah, can I hit him in the stomach first? You're going to have to lean down because he is on the deck. I got a quarter staff. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Give him a poke. <laughs> yeah, five. You're just checking to see if he's okay. You are right. Right. You kind of use him to push off. Uh, it is your turn. Give me a DC 12 versus dexterity. Mm. Ah, shit. We don't get to reroll shitty rolls. That's it. it fell off my lap. <laughs> Nine. Oh! <laughs> uh, using a pirate dog dice, let's see what hits you. A candlestick pops you in the face. Oh. You take one hit point of damage as you are now covered in wax. Uh, so now you can Sexy. work it. You can work at a shop down the row. All three of you are now in the uh, chapel center. Daphne is headed towards the altar, which is at the far end of the building. Shit is being thrown, but you do not see anyone upright. You see about five acolytes face down in weird positions. They appear to be alive, uh, but you're going to have to check on them. But you do not see any assailant in this chamber. So the goblin was an acolyte that got thrown around? The goblin. Goblet. Goblet. Uh, yes, oh, okay. goblet. <laughs> I'm like, when did I? I hear it. Uh, I thought yeah. you, I could have swore you said goblet. I was like, uh, cup. His cup runneth over. Okay. Uh, as the archdeacon's taken three hits and almost uh, took a staff shot to the nuts. I literally thought right. it was a goblin grabbing him. In. <laughs> yes. No. No. All the acolytes are down. Uh, shit is getting thrown by something. You can oh, safely assume that. This must be the g -g -g ghost. Is there an area that this stuff is coming from? <laughs> There's the question. Everybody, uh, give me an insight check, please. Well, Camille, you can ca you can cancel your waxing appointment at the spa That's this true. week. Uh, natural twenty. I got thirteen. Ten. 13. Uh, Camille, you look around. All you see is acolytes and shit being thrown. Zadar and Daphne, you notice that everything seems to be coming out of a central location. You can't make anything out, but it is definitely originating from near the center of the building. So no obvious apparition or anything like that. Just Correct. Just almost the tumult of... Uh, things being spat at you. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, Lord. Oh, Are you shitting me? Nice. This is how the day starts? <laughs> Four. I got two. I got a one. Not one. <laughs> Not one. Wow. I couldn't beat a two, a four, four and an or an eight. eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those dots are hot. Those dice are hot. <laughs> Man, uh, well, let's start with the eight. Zadar, uh, you seem to think that you know where it is at, so it is up to you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. On that note, I am going to <laughs> mage hand a piece of debris and just hum it in that direction. Now, remember, mage hand cannot be used to attack. It, it's just clearing debris. So, okay, so you're going to go for the distraction technique. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, give it a wing. All right. Uh, what am I rolling, dex? Uh, dex will be your modifier since you're throwing shit. Okay. All if right. you miss. And if you do. If you do, and if you do, there's a lot of acolytes in there. <laughs> yeah, there is. I probably just hit one with they're an eight. On the ground. Be yep, fine. You, you just hit one with an eight. <laughs> video they're just like laying there they're trying to be cool you know those kids this one was getting up like flash gordon right before you hit him with the egg yeah <laughs> it's like oh. you hit him in the arm uh next up is the four camille uh you see zadar try and kill an acolyte for some reason uh <laughs> towards the center of the building what would you like to do uh i'd like to i'd like to kind of crawl around and start poking the acolytes to see if any of them wake up. 
That's fair. Uh, Daphne, you are up next. Nothing's attacking X except for the stuff swirling around. Mm -hmm. I can't, like, search for the source further. Uh, yes, you notice that it seems to be emanating from the center of the chapel, directly in your path uh, in between you and the altar. Can I walk around it? You may attempt to do so. Okay. Give me a stealth. Oh, no. I am not the stealthiest. Oh, shit. I'm going to summon Omen. Fair enough. 13? Three. <laughs> oh yeah you are wide open now uh, uh i am going to roll a d4 courtesy of that crappy roll daphne gets to be three and four the target of the apparition will say good vibes don't let it be me it's a it's a four jeepers daphne you're gonna get hit maybe uh zoinks <laughs> 13 plus four 17 you are going to kill me right away, aren't you? Maybe. Wait, 17 against me or 17 damage? 17 against you to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That hits. Oh, okay. Now let's uh, I kind of paused for a second, too. I was just like, 17 damage. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow this thing does a lot of damage. <laughs> Not with that roll. Scooby, where are you? <laughs> Don't be copyright copyright infringing us. Having Scooby yeah. snacks. Uh, you are crushed for nine hit points as something picks you up by your body and body slams you down. Holy crap! No. Uh, Zadar, you noticed this. Camille, D12 against me. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, my dad. I have to take it. All That's right. Fine. Uh, I'll roll for her. Uh, okay. I rolled a nine. Uh, she rolled an 11. So she will find one person. They are unconscious, uh, but okay. Uh, Zadar, let's go ahead and go with you. Okay. Um, I'm connecting to Omen. So do I see anything through a Tressum's eyes? Uh, it is a poltergeist. In the center of the chapel. Describe what it looks like. Uh, it looks like the electric monster from Scooby-Doo. The uh, orange, orange and yellow thing. Nice. Uh, but nice. it is a very fluid shape. Oh, okay. I almost made him the green thing out of Ghostbusters, but oh. <laughs> that would be too cheesy. But, and since yeah. we have a Daphne, let, let's let's stay. Let's with stick with the Scooby monsters. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Zadar, you're up. Okay. So uh, I'm alerting them to there, and judging by its, <laughs> judging by their si by the size, it's big. <laughs> you have successfully voiced your opinion. What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, on that note, I'm just like, holy shit, what to do? So uh, yeah, I am gonna create. Uh, a minor illusion. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, trying to see what what'll qualify as a minor illusion. Um, That'll fool a poltergeist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am going to create the image of uh, let's just say a, a small animal, probably a dog, just running right by you're it. gonna sacrifice a dog to this thing nice it's touch. a minor it's an illusion <laughs> uh, uh camille you're up next zadar has alerted you and daphne that uh, the g -g -g ghost is a poltergeist in the center of the room uh and gives you very good verbal skills uh he has also summoned a bright-eyed tiny puppy that wouldn't hurt a fly <laughs> it's a little uh, terrier <laughs> you have found one acolyte they are unconscious but they are alive what would you like to do now can i talk to the poltergeist you may attempt twelve ha yeah you're talking to air <laughs> yeah, that was worth a shot uh, Daphne, you're up next. You pick yourself up, dust yourself off. 
Uh, and uh, you're looking for some damage now, bitches. What do you want to do? Can I feel the thing that like picked me up and slammed me? Like, do I know where it is now? Oh, you you know exactly where it is because Zadar has used his verbal skills and told you it's right in front of you. It's going to pummel you again, maybe, or kill the bright-eyed little puppy that I just made. Can I'm going to call the puppy Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Daphne. Attack this thing. All right. Oh. Um, 24 to hit. 12 actually hits these things. So, uh, you unleash your tiefling fury on this thing. Uh, how much damage do you do? I'm using a scimitar. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. It's not resistant. Uh -uh. At least not that I have marked. Um, and it's dual. Do I roll it twice to try to hit? Okay, mm -hmm. so the first one damage is nine. Okay. The other, the hit's exactly 12. Mm -hmm. And then that one dies six damage. So six plus nine. Six. 15. Nicely done. Uh, it's turn. Uh, you know, you are now upright, so numero quattro is the puppy. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's Zidar! An you have angered it, and it goes after you. Zoinks. 18 plus 4, 22 is it puts the smack down on you. I assume that hits. But I was going to use my bonus action, cutting action. Can I use that now? Uh, to uh, let's see. You talked, mm -hmm. and then you made a minor illusion. So, yes, yeah. you can do the bonus action. Okay. Uh, do I have to reroll? Uh, yes. Not 20, Zidar. <laughs> you dodged right into its blow. <laughs> Thank you. Zigzag. Zigzag. Uh, a two, a three, a three. So there's eight plus two, ten plus two, twelve. Another shitty damage roll on what I could really crush you guys with. 12 damage, Zidar, as oh. you get the <coughs> smackdown. Oh, man, I got the smackdown. <laughs> Top of the order. Uh, wow. Get up, dust yourself off, and yeah. bring it. Bring the heat. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> so is it my turn in the initiative now? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> your familiar so, just went like this yeah yeah i mean probably did little pause up went oh i like so, the poltergeist <laughs> well like the movie Pol poltergeist i am going to cast chill touch nice and the spectral like hand is going to reach out just like it did in the movie <laughs> now does that do necrotic damage yes it does okay go ahead and see if you hit all right uh, 25. Easily hits. Okay. And that is going to be... Ineffective, because that's the, what it's it It's resistant. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the chill touch actually absorbs the energy. And you feel as though it may have grown. <laughs> uh, Camille, uh, your party is getting the shite beat out of it. Uh, you're up. I cast Fog Cloud, my favorite. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Everybody will be at disadvantage now <laughs> as fog emanates up from the ground and encompasses uh, the area. As uh, it leaks out from underneath the door, Archdeacon will be in fear. He's kind of like the guy who controls the hotel in the original Ghostbusters. <laughs> will not be able to pay. Does he think it's on fire? Oh no! It, it's right. it's a fog. So, uh, yeah. da Daphne, uh, the fog cloud has not completely encapsulated the room yet. I'll give you an attack at minus two instead of disadvantage. I'm just like, damn it, Camille! <laughs> 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 oh, you like an octopus? You get scared. Poof, fog cloud. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. It's just, eh, why not? <laughs> Let's see what this does. 
You hear that like clacking sound when I click it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six damage. Six total? Yeah. Did you miss? I messed up. I didn't realize it said two-handed. I thought I hit dual weapons, but I messed up on what I picked. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. 21. Uh, I will go at disadvantage uh, on the poltergeist. Uh, one. It really does not like you, Camille. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> I don't even need to roll my second one. <laughs> what would my second one have been? A three. So that blows ass. Uh, uh, Zadar, your familiar, says, I-, I think it's weak, boss. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how far is Camille from me? You don't know. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God. Damn it, Camille. E- everybody uh, rolls a disadvantage now because you can't see shit. You're like uh, movie Excalibur at the end. There's just too much fog cloud and you're going to kill uh, Helen Mirren. Uh, uh, in here now. I mean, I can take on the form of the Duke. So <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm like, Camille, where are you? Hey, I'm, hey, hey, I'm over here. Okay, so I'm patting around trying to find Camille. <laughs> Pick out the glow sticks. I put oh, on nice. my quarter staff and kind of wave it around on the floor. Well, as Zadar starts to meander your way, uh, Zadar, uh, give me a D4. I will roll a D4 to see which direction she's in. Okay. So roll a D4. Is what you're saying? Four. Oh, very nice. Uh, you aren't going to like the result, but very nice. <laughs> I probably just crawled right into the poultry guys. <laughs> uh, Camille, you're going to swing your quarterstaff, I hear? I'm not swinging it. I'm on the floor kind of poking it around to see if anybody... I hit any of my partners. What do you... Do, is there a white tip on the end of your cane? Yes. Uh, okay, is that what you want to do, or you want to do something else? Oh, that's what I want to do. Okay. Uh, Daphne, give me a perception check. Oh, I must perceive the life. <laughs> Three. Wow. Impressive. Uh, Daphne, you're up. <laughs> I'm attacking again, I guess. Wait, where's what? You can't see shit. Fog cloud is in full effect. 13. Uh, at disadvantage, did you roll twice? Yeah, I got an at 20 at first. but oh, uh, well, 13 is still good enough to hit the thing. Yeah. Go ahead. And that is another six damage. Uh, Zadar, can your thing see in fog? Uh. It's, I don't know. That is a D, good question. D12 against me. Yeah, okay. Seven. Nine. Uh, hey, boss! Hey, boss! Hey, boss! That thing's gone! Thanks for the heads up, Omen. You no always problem, got boss. my back. See? You always have my back. <laughs> always works out. Uh, so this thing took off. It ain't there anymore. Uh, I'm still looking around. Camille, where are you? <laughs> you find the female form. Okay. Daphne, somebody's groping you. Nice. <laughs> I'm a little lonely lately, so that's okay. You were, you were a two Camille. Opposite would be four, and that would be Daphne. Right. Uh, <laughs> Zidar, you... Go ahead and roll a d20. Let's see if you make an inappropriate gesture. Ten. You're fine. Okay. Uh, you, you grab Daphne by the waist and start screaming, Camille, Camille. It's not Camille. She's probably much taller than I am. I'm just like, <laughs> sorry. Like- <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, Daphne is a tiefling and Camille is a halfling. Right. You know the difference. You are not holding Camille's shoulder right <laughs> i was just like sorry sorry so you found one of your associates yes and it's just like 
stay here. I'll be back. I'm going to try to find Camille. <laughs> Give me a straight up D20 roll. 11. All uh, you hear a tap, tap, tapping, uh, and you head that way because Camille is rap, rap, rapping at your chamber door. Right. <laughs> uh, and uh, Camille, what do you want to do? Uh, I, I continue to want to look for my partners. Okay. Roll a d4. You know, you can dispel it. I can? Yes. I think you can. I had no yeah. idea. <laughs> just drop it. Okay, then I'll do that. <laughs> Which direction? What was your D4 roll? Four. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Camille loses concentration on the spell. <sighs> Everything goes down. Uh, oh, there's thank a debris God. strewn about the chapel. Uh, the acolytes are. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Zadar, you are leaning against who you thought was Camille's shoulder. It is more like Daphne's hip. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> Kinda. Babe, nice misogynistic approach, Zadar. You don't know what Kid. form I am. You're assuming I. You're assuming I'm in male form. That's true. Mm -hmm. There is no genders when it comes to you. It's That's nice. true. Uh, tell uh, who was it? Louis. Who? Who are you hitting on the first? Oh, so, Louis C.K. or some some girl. No, it kind of was. Uh, no, who was the good fellow you were hitting on? Oh, oh, uh, Pretty oh. Boy Floyd. Yeah, blonde Jessica Rabbit. That was a very sexual form. Okay, mm -hmm. so with a fog cloud dispelled, uh, you start to look around at your surroundings. You notice that the altar trappings, banners, candlesticks, uh, some books, some scrolls, uh, some vestments worn by acolytes uh, have all been strewn about uh in whatever uh incorporeal uh <laughs> form this thing was uh but nobody's getting attacked right now uh camille would you like to share the last bit of information that archdeacon shithead gave you yes i would okay so it would appear as though you have successfully vanquished uh, yeah. the spirit uh Camille uh, lets you both know that uh, before he was knocked out under mysterious circumstances, uh, the archdeacon pointed out that there was a secret entrance to the crypt in the high left section underneath a statue. Looking over, uh, you see a statue of Guest kind of turned to one angle and a dark spot in the floor is available. Uh, the acolytes are slowly but surely getting up. It does not appear as though there were any fatalities, although it's going to take them a few minutes to figure out which end is up. What would you guys like to do next? Um, uh, help them up to get them out. So, Okay. Uh, as you assist in the Acolyte's uh, return, you find that the Archdeacon is also a little bit woozy outside, and he asks, is it safe to come in? not safer than it was a minute ago but well make sure you clear the building i'll keep the crowd back you do that <laughs> i hear crickets is there a crowd <laughs> is it cricket from it's always sunny in philadelphia no no You'd yeah we're talking that. about so quiet cricket so cricket. <laughs> are any of the acolytes uh awake enough to ask questions or to talk they're, to you. They're, they're a little bit woozy but you you may ask the first one you come across is a male so how did this start uh the archdeacon was giving service uh d12 against me seven there was the moon and the sun and they had babies and that's how it started <laughs> Wow. Nice. Uh, and Friar Swanson went downstairs. Um, and that's not what he was supposed to do. But And then a minute or so later, uh, I was hit by a bunch of guys, like 30 guys. 
And that's why I was unconscious. Serial crushers? Uh, Serial crushers. (laughs) Like 30 guys got me. Otherwise, I would have been there for the fight. So what was uh, Acolyte Swanson? Was that it? Friar Swanson. Friar. What was he supposed to do? He's supposed to help the archdeacon perform the service. Oh, forgive me. I am not a member of your church. Would you like to be a member of our church? We have flowers. Would Would you like? No, no. (laughs) Your eternal salvation could reside in guest. Almighty <laughs> guest. I am not really worried about my eternal salvation. Thank you. Perhaps you should be. Mm. <laughs> you have dark circles under your eyes. I'm very tired. I haven't had coffee today. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Amanda never has good coffee. He, he never does. He has tea, Damn. which I like yeah. tea, but eh, it's not a strong tea. Oh. Earl Grey. Ugh. Thank you. It's like sweet. Thank you, Picard. <laughs> <laughs> so I share this information with my compatriots, mm-hmm. and so should we go down to the crypts or wherever? Sure, sure. Uh, before we go, can I see the holy water? You still have it. <laughs> I hope. I haven't Thank drank you. it yet. No, can I borrow it? Thank you. I just need a little. So I do it and I do my best. Father O'Grady. And kind of sprinkle it on my on my scimitar. <laughs> Fair enough. Because anybody yeah. need healing. And the, and the dagger. <laughs> okay. uh, yes, each one of you does have a healing potion if you need it. Okay. I didn't use much. It's typical like Sunday service where they fling the holy water so it's just fair enough so oh and by the way i look like joan jack thank you nice i love <laughs> rock and roll mm-hmm. uh, uh <laughs> do you need any healing uh i could probably use some you want to do your potion or <sighs> yeah the hit that very I took very, with... very early in the scenario yeah i know <laughs> well... i know all We're right, I'm going to buck up. Through. I got a threshold. I haven't quite reached it yet. So, sure. okay, I'm going to stand. Daphne, what about you? Sorry, what was it? Uh, <laughs> do you want like healed or do you need healed? <laughs> How much damage did you give me before? I think I 12. Like it was 12. Okay, yeah, I need to be healed. Are you going to take your potion or you're a paladin, right? Uh, Yeah. You can always touch yourself. Help. That's so handy. Go into the closet. Wait, we're in a church still? Yeah, we're still in a church. <laughs> Is those confession things? There are no confessionals here. Oh, the Church of Guests is like New Age Catholicism. Uh, you go face to face with the priest. Yeah, yeah. In the good old days. Oh, well. I couldn't hear you, Frank. <laughs> I was talking to her. Oh. <laughs> Essentially, beer me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so, uh, so... So, Daphne, are you looking for alone time or something? <laughs> kill myself. Uh, apparently, her idea of touching herself as a paladin is not exactly... Oh, that's right, folks. Uh, mature audiences only. only. Uh, we don't, yeah, we don't care how you touch yourself, Daphne. Uh, whatever you need to do. While I am a big fan of alone time... I think we got to stay focused. <laughs> Time is of the essence, I would imagine. So do you want to give yourself the quick touch? I lay on the bench and give myself a quick touch. There you go. <laughs> uh, your fourth level, right? I forget how many. I hit. get 20. There you go. Are you taking all 20? Yeah, I will. Oh, ah. Joan, Joan Jett just lifts an eyebrow. Hmm. That, not a snarl. Jeepers! That's him. <laughs> Jeepers. Uh, Daphne's healed. Zadar is holding. Camille is holding. Uh, what would you like to do? You are now all alone in the chapel of guest uh, with the stairs receding into the floor in the corner. Wait, wait, um, to the altar? You can go up to the altar if you want. I go up to the altar. All of the trappings are scattered among the area, including the Holy Chalice, which uh, wrung off the Archdeacon's chin before you closed <laughs> the doors. 
Uh, actually, it hit Camille. <laughs> no, that was the candlestick. That was the candlestick. Uh, Daphne, if you want, you can roll investigation check to see if there are any secreted caches in the altar. Yes, yes. 13. There nope, you don't a, find any. <laughs> no tabernacle or anything like that. No huh? tabernacle with a 13. Uh, plus, she's a tiefling. Hell, her fingers could go cold. Not burn, because she's a tiefling. Could go cold. <sighs> <laughs> uh guest bad deep bad uh however if you want to pick up some of the altar trappings you can uh insight check would tell you that you're gonna miss that shit if you steal it <laughs> you probably will damn uh <laughs> take it no don't take it okay don't take it <laughs> <laughs> they'll notice that <laughs> yeah that that would be uh, hard to overlook i take mental pictures like a like a camera but in my brain there you go that <laughs> that works uh what would you like to do next folks go down the stairs we're not casually walking i'm sliding there's a railing yes she's doing a power slide uh, give me a straight up d20 roll. Let's see if you land on your ass. Just oh, just in general. Mm -hmm. How do I find that on this? I guess I can just this. Oh my god, I got three. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Apparently, Daphne puts one foot on one rail, one foot on the other, uh, but gets an ankle caught up on one and falls flat on her face. Oh. Zero hit points of damage. Uh, your attempt at the X Games has failed severely. <laughs> uh, your two associates walk past you like Galaxy Quest, and you notice that lit, lit, lit oil sconces at the bottom of this swirling iron stairs allow light for you to see. Intricate inlaid mosaics in the walls show the teachings of the deity known as Guest, uh, and they are clearly old. Uh, footsteps in the dust reveal that someone, possibly Friar Swanson, is down here as the tracks lead only one direction. Uh, another set of stairs leads deeper into the musty tomb, and a flickering light can be seen uh, coming from a copper brazier in the middle of the room. A body is slumped face down on the floor, holding a book. I poke it with my stick. So you are the first one down? Yes. Who is second? Uh, I've been my last since I face planted. That's true. <laughs> uh, so Camille, then Zadar, then Daphne. Uh, Camille, you go down and you see this copper brazier uh, lit, and you also notice the book in the hand of this face down individual. And then give me an investigation roll. This is not going to be good. Mm, Who's oh, your that's not too bad. 14. 14 not bad. You notice that some of the pages are missing from the book. And as you poke the body, uh, you can see the pool of blood rapidly accelerating oh, out okay. from underneath his face. That's and then so as good. you glance over at the copper brazier, you see one piece of parchment. Fuck. Slide into uh, the flame. Uh, the parchment goes up like rice paper, and all of a sudden, a purple and black cloud appears. Everybody roll initiative against the vampiric... Ooh, uh, vampires. Mist. 21! Oh, four. 15. Four for gore. Uh, Daphne, you are the first to notice this purple and black mist rising from this parchment that is now evaporated into the nether regions. What would you like to do? Jeepers, it seems my uncle's appearing. You're gonna, you know what? I should have made Zadar's dog scrappy do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he wouldn't have his little Hey, come perks. on, guys, let's kill this thing! What do you want to do, Daphne? Puppy I... power. <laughs> yeah. What? 
Can I even attack a gas? Sure. Can I put it back in the flames? I'm like. <laughs> So you want to blow the vampiric mist. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> it might like it. Yeah, you can try and blow it, or you can try and hit it. It matters not to me, my dear. I just, yeah, I don't know which would make more sense to do, because it's, it's gas. How do you hit that? You can, like, waft it away. Can I waft it away? You want to try and waft it away. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <okay>. that's fair. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up is the 15, Camille. Uh, well. The holy water? I don't know. We we try that. Yeah. Don't use all of it. Just a couple of sprinkles. Yeah, so do we have one? Like... Well, I gave you mine cheap to... ass. It was free. <laughs> I gave mine to Zadar. Zadar has oh, I have right it, now, actually. Yeah. So I kind of... Whoa, 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 Zadar. You're at the bottom of the order here. <laughs> I am, I am. Okay. Camille, Camille fair, what do you want to do enough. with the vampiric mist and or the dead body? Uh, oh. Oh, dead body. I want to grab the book. You grab the book. What'd you say, Daphne? I burn the dead body. Why can't we burn the dead body? Camille, sure, can I'm... you help the body so you can burn it? Are can... you... Are you blowing the mist or are you burning the body? Oh, shit. I guess I'm blowing the mist. Okay. Camille, you're grabbing the book. Is the mist going to go in the body? Can I talk to the dead body? Since I'm a necromancer. Hello, computer. Do you, uh, you have that ability? You, you do not have that spell at this time. Damn it. Uh, okay, I grab the book then. Uh, give me a d20. Just straight up. Make sure you don't. Uh, that should be an innate it. necromancer Thank thing. Thank you. I think. Nine. Should. Uh, you grab it uh, and notice uh, the vampiric mist rises into a plume, and it would eyeball if it had an eyeball. Number four, Zadar. <laughs> One of my character flaws is that it hates even numbers. Because of that very reason. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Let's see how it works out for you, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's going to hit. Uh, Zadar, the cloud envelops you, and you feel your life begin to drain away. Not again. I see one murder hobo and a two. Eight hit points of damage. Uh, oh. Zadar screams out in pain as some of his life has been sucked away. I do that. Joan Not blown Jett away. Scream. Sucked away. I do that. Joan Jet scream. Wow. <laughs> uh, Zadar, it is up to you. Uh, Daphne must have been Here's the whole pointed car. towards you. <laughs> so this uh, this thing is enveloping me, right? Yes. Uh, you you are now. Uh, uh, who was Pigpen out of Snoopy? Oh, you now have uh, a black and purple cloud. I, I, ha I have the holy water and I crack the cap and I just try to give sprinkle me some. Give me an attack roll. Okay. Uh, and since it enveloped you, I'll even let you roll an advantage because I am a nice guy no matter what Kyle Natural says. 20. Nicely done. Uh, uh, holy water is going to do D6, so give me a D6. Give me okay. another D6. So two D6. Roll them. Uh, a six and a two, so eight. Nicely done. Uh, the enveloping cloud moves away from you at the end of this round. Starting again, Daphne, your attempts to blow the undead have failed <laughs> or succeeded if you were aiming it towards Zadar. I, I'm, I'm not going to question your motives. All right. Just only one thing to do. Time to burn him. Fair enough. Uh, hellish rebuke or hellfire? Uh, wait, it, holy water didn't work? It worked. It, it did. Oh, so wait, no one's possessed? Can I just burn the dead body? Yeah, you can burn the dead body. It's not moving. You burn the dead body. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Light Friar Swanson on fire. 
like a thing there with fire. Yeah, you're going to tip over the brazier? Can I not lift him up? I'm a big tiefling. Yeah, if you want to throw the dead body on the fire. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure it's not like he's going to smell or put out, put out the illumination. Or empty his bowels. Ooh, smelly that does hot happen. poop. Yeah. It does happen. Ah, just throw him in. It's fine. It's what we do. Back home. Give me a hit roll for the dead body. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you pick him up, uh, hoist him down there. Uh, I wonder how much treasure you just fucking burned. Ah. <laughs> uh, he goes up in a big flame. Uh, Camille, ha -ha, you have the book. What would you like to do now? Read the book. Uh, That's right. You know, folks, reading is fundamental. And in the middle of a fight, perhaps reading will save the day. Spoiler alert, they're fucked. Reading Rainbow. That's right. right. LeVar Burton is saying, don't read that shit. Read <laughs> yeah, later. he's like, no, don't do that. <laughs> LeVar, if you'd want to be on the show, we'd, we'd love welcome. to have Jordy LaForge on here. Mm -hmm. Or was he Kunta Kinte? I know he was Ron LaFleur in the Ron he, LaFleur He was story. both. He was Kunta yeah. Kente and them. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I don't so, know. LeVar, if you ever want to be on the show. What can I do against a gas cloud? Uh, eat less beans. <laughs> really? I'm tired. It probably takes damage. Uh, don't you have Ray of Frost or something? Yes, I do. We'll do Ray of Frost. Okay. Hit it. Uh, Is it still enveloped around me? Or did no, it move it away? Off. It okay. moved off, remember? It may okay. make another run at you. Okay. It is an odd fish. Ah! Nice. Hey, Zadar likes odd numbers, so right. there we go. It is a seven. That is not even remotely close to hitting it. Or was that your damage? That was my damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's fair enough. Uh, that brings us to the vampiric cloud. Uno! It does not le like being frozen, Camille, and it immediately moves to envelop you uh, like a shitty creature from Star Trek. You are going oh. to take... No, some. it is one with me. I embrace it. I see a beautiful image of the new murder hobo dice and a one. So that means you take seven necrotic damage. So hopefully that is in the mail to me, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> because it was your birthday last week. Stop pandering. No, uh, no, no. I'm just in general. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, and actually, I do have uh, the other ones. I don't have them in here. Uh, oh, because okay, the sorry. Adventures in Philbar dice arrived as well. Uh, nice. Adventures in Philbar, folks. If you want to be lazy DM, use one of ours. Uh, we got free shit. Zadar, <laughs> you're up. Uh, the Vampiric Mist has chosen to uh, go after Camille. Come on. Uh, Austin Pfeffer Incorporated. I am going to take a, a swipe with uh, my holy water infused. <gasps> Please roll one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do my best, Camille. <laughs> All right. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay. You know, um, I wonder why the challenge rating is so low on this thing. Because it can do a shit ton of damage. It is doing a... Just rolling yeah. like crap. It is. Eating my lunch. Um, let's see. Uh, seven points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, Daphne. Uh... Still no Scooby or Shag, but uh, your friends are uh, getting their lunch packed, if you will, with this vampiric mist. What would you like to do? Pack the mist. Sure. You've already set the uh, fryer on fire. Like a Swanson frozen dinner. Swanson. They aren't one of our sponsors, but they do make shitty food. So, yeah, they've got that going for them. I kind of liked the dessert. Was, was he Was he like a bat fryer? Oh, Oh, nicely done. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, if you ate processed food. Uh, hey, what what'd you got, fast. Daphne? <laughs> Friar Tuck. Daphne? Magic to attack it, or can I just hit it? 
You can either use or. That. You You're a paladin. It. This is this is your wheelhouse. This, yeah, this is your jam. <laughs> Do your holy smite bullshit. Yeah, I I really think they fucked up the challenge rating on this. They have it at a half. And for the amount of hit points and the amount of damage it does, I don't think so. What do you want to do, <laughs> Daphne? Kick the Scooby Snack right out of this thing. That's just a little too normal attack? I don't know. See sure, give it a shot. Yeah, let's see what happens. Fight the mist. 18, <laughs> 18 does hit. That's what I say when I fart. Fight the mist. <laughs> <laughs> Fight the mist. Fight the mist. Seven damage. Chopping away at it. Uh, Camille! Uh, like... <laughs> Camille, you notice that both Daphne and Zadar's attacks have come unusually close. Uh, you might want to put this thing out of uh, your wheelhouse. You are up. Um... Well, and you've already used fog cloud. I know. That's so wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You blew your load early. Now it's gonna cost you. Hmm. How about true strike? Fair enough. Go ahead and tell the folks at home and your idiot DM what that does. Um, let's see. Divination cantrip, range 30 feet, concentration up to one round. You extend your hand and point your finger at the target. Your magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on your first attack roll against the target, provided the spell hasn't ended. Very good. Uh, it's its turn, and it is going to go five. Daphne, the mist wants you. Oh, man, it's good that this, like, protection from evil and good. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hit points as it mists into you. Uh, and that brings us to Zadar. Wait, it attacks me with seven? It doesn't even need to roll against me? Nope, it just envelops you. That's why I'm wondering why it's only a challenge rating half. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does 2d6 plus 3 necrotic just by draining your life. <laughs> you know what? I have made a horrible mistake. Horrible mistake here. All three of you have been hit, correct? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yes. All three of you give me a DC 13 versus Constitution. Uh, uh, that is what the difference is. I apologize. If you pass the DC 13 con, you have suffered no damage. Oh, uh, not 20, right? We're doing wrong in 20? Yeah. 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 You're fine. Uh, 16. You're fine. Four. Uh, Camille, you you did take the damage, but Zadar and Daphne, uh, the mist passed through you uh, without any toxic effects. Uh, <laughs> so Daphne is not wounded. Daphne, you are up. I'm up now. What? That was okay. Um, how's it looking? How misty? How how thick is the mist from before? Eh, it's thinning itself out. Okay. No one has jars. You can't put this in a fucking jar. Wow. No. Uh, ball state has not been created yet, so there are no ball jars. So you're going to have to wait a few thousand years before that shit happens. <clears throat> As an alumni, would you like to give ball state a shout out? I was going to say, hello, I graduated from Ball State. There you go. So did David Letterman. Fun factoid. What do you want to do, Daphne? Uh, I'm going to cast Divine Favor on myself as a bonus action. Huh? There you go. Okay. 
And then try to attack it again. Sure. 17 to hit. Yep. And then... I hope you did. Okay. 10 damage. Nicely done. Uh, Camille, you have advantage this time because you cast True Strike last time. Uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. What can I do? Melee attack, you can uh, roll at advantage. Uh, spell attack, not so much. Okay, melee then. Okay, roll, uh, roll at advantage, roll two die. Tell me the high one. 19. Damage. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, six. That is enough. The combined efforts of the three of you have sundered the mist, and it evaporates away. Well, that's just uh, bullshit. Uh, there's another mist rising from the fat fryer on fire. Say that? that three times. Fat fryer on fire. On fire. <laughs> Nirvana wrote a song about that. No, that's right. Uh, Camille, you notice that the book has the word Calic etched into it. Everybody give me a DC 17 versus religion. We have to beat 17? Meter beat. Meter oh beat. Oh my god, six. Seven. Twenty. Oh, all right. Camille, being a necromancer, you realize that A, the cover of this book is made of human flesh. Yes. And B, Calic was an evil deity that reveres vampires and the undead. Well, duh. You, you also noted. Oh, really? Is that how we're going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> duh, your ass on the next combat roll. Uh, the tome is missing a few pages and clearly igniting uh, that last page was a bad idea. This huh. item will probably carry a hefty price for those interested in those sort of things. Uh, a book marker has three keys and a slender gem on it. Uh, hmm. Now that the battle is over, you notice directly across from the stairwell is a wrought iron gate leading to, you guessed it, stairs going down. That appears to be the only exit from here. Wow. Oh, and by the way, Friar Fat Ass is starting to stink royally. Well, of course he's going to stink. He's on fire. Yep. So we can't go back up the way we came? Yeah, you can go back up the way you came if you want. Still haven't found any magic. Well, no. Uh -uh. So I guess we go forward. And it's only 908. I was about to say, we want to snoop around some more. <laughs> See what else we can, what other ghosts we can bust. The gate is locked. Or is it? Oh, if, it's locked. If only you had a rogue in your party. <laughs> or somebody had a key. Oh, damn it. That's why he's the DM. Ah, uh, did I burn the key? No, no, I Camille keys, has them. Don't I? Yes, yes. it's uh, on the uh, right. bookmarker. All right, I try the keys. Uh, one D, or roll D6. Four. Uh, wrong key. Reroll. Four. Uh, you picked the same key. Reroll. <laughs> <laughs> the key's gonna change, right? Three. Same key. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe you should mark it. Okay, I'm going to try a different tie. Oh, two. Uh, wrong key. Oh my god, oh, six. There you go. Ah, <laughs> the lock clicks and the gate <laughs> creaks open, uh, revealing a darkened staircase descending yet again into the darkness. What kind of staircase? Is it wood? Stone. It is stone. Oh my god. Wait, down or up? Down. The side, diagonal, zigzag. <laughs> Straight down. 
Into the depths of hell. I am. <gasps> like, in the Hobbit, or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight down. There's going to be a Balrog there. Yes, probably a Balrog. I, I grabbed my crossbow. <laughs> Grandolf the White, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. He knows just what you mean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. That was nice. about 400 years before Daphne was born. Uh, who wants down the stairs first? Uh, me and Omen will go first. Mr. Awesome. Mr. Clean was way more personable in the early years. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, Daphne, who wants to go second? I'll go second. Daphne is bringing up the rear with the smell of fat fryer cooking in her nostrils. Uh, well, you guys, my favorite type of food. Well, that's true. You might want to tear off a piece. Uh, as you reach the bottom of the stairs, you come to yet another mosaic filled hallway that extends left and right. There are unlit oil torch sconces here. Uh, you may light them if you want. Okay. Um, you need to go left or right. Uh, let's go left. I look for the first torch and I cast press the digitation to, to light one. Illuminate it. Uh, mm -hmm. As the torch springs into action, you notice the mosaics on the far wall seem to display a variety of clerics interacting with the lowly human beings, helping them, giving them aid resuscitating them, being cleric-y kind of types. Uh, the farther you go left, you pass two more oil torch sconces. You may light them if you want. Uh, yeah, but before I take a step, I take the holy water, put a couple of drops on the bolt. Sure. And uh, light the other torch. Uh, more mosaics. Uh, the clerics each have different faces. Uh, as you reach the end, you come to an wrought iron gate again. Well, we have a key. <laughs> Possibly. Can we see through the gate? What's ahead? Yes, it is a small chamber that holds wooden coffins. Do we oh, there's always good things in coffins. Yes, but do we want to go in? Yeah. All right. I sure. think my keys will work. <laughs> You've already eliminated one of the keys. Odd or even? Odd. Odd it is. That key actually opens it up right off the bat. Okay. So you got two keys and one jewel left. Uh, you open it up, and this chamber is about uh, 40 by 40. It holds coffins. Uh on either side of the wall uh, laid out. You can go to, excuse me, each individual coffin. Uh, they are wood, they are covered in religious sigils, and the latch on them is sealed in wax. All of them? Every single one of them. Not I... disturbed. I was about to say, if they're sealed, we probably don't want to disturb it. Um, let's investigate the coffins to see if there's any without a seal oh, or a seal. Every that's single broken. one of them is sealed. They're all sealed. Okay. So maybe we go back the other way. Or we just set them all on fire. Or we could do that. Mm. Give me an insight check there, Daphne. <laughs> Although it's really hot to do that down here. Yeah, we already have one fire going. <laughs> 16. Yeah, you're pretty sure that setting fire to the religious icons of a church within the city limits would probably end you up on a ship upside down and being shot at with bullets. It could have been an accident. <laughs> I'm, I'm not telling you not to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. If you want to set it on fire, you go right ahead. I Do we it. have like, like lighter fluid, like something nearby? Oh uh, yes, there's a barbecue charcoal there and a uh, can of lighter fluid. <laughs> uh, no, this wood is quite old and should go up like kindling if you choose to set it on fire. I say we Please go back don't. the other way. 
Yeah. There's no other way, no other doors in here. Mm. Nope. Let's go back to the right. You do, however, notice, since you've asked Daphne, uh, behind every coffin is a figure in, mo in painting. There's only paintings in this room. Uh, the murals depict one very specific cleric above each coffin, and it looks like the mosaics out in the hallway. Does any of the friars look familiar? Uh, any of the clerics look familiar? Okay. They all have a, a a slight resemblance to somebody that you might know, but you aren't really positive. Oh, the guy that we're supposed to be helping. Mm -hmm. A certain time traveler. Oh, Lord. When did Back to the Future get involved in this? Uh, a couple that episodes was Rock ago. Of Ages, episode 100, 23 episodes ago. Yes. <laughs> they went back in time. We did. Not in a DeLorean. It was uh, so it looks like uh, the iconography in the mosaics is duplicated in mural form here. And I will take straight up D20 by everybody. Hey, I like odd numbers. 13. Ooh. Hey. Hmm. As Daphne attempts to figure out how to light these fuckers, Zadar and Camille, you notice that the iconography and the mosaics corresponds with each coffin. Ergo, these are former clerics of guest buried slash entombed in reverence here. Meanwhile, Daphne, with her flaming tail, is attempting to set shit on fire. I, um... Press a digitation. I think I can snuff out a fire, right? Yes. Okay. Daphne, you are having great difficulty in uh, the Kingsford lighting fluid. Are we still in the room, or did we leave the room now? Let Let's leave the room now. <laughs> I leave a trail of is there like sawdust or fabric? those wooden coffins. You can stack them <laughs> end to end if you want. <laughs> you rearrange the coffin. You, oh! <laughs> you, you may do so if you would like. I think Zadar and Camille are leaving, but feel free to oh go ahead God. and play Jenga with the coffins. I make them into like a pentagram, you know. Either oh. that or just, you know, three card money them in front of the icon. Or... Very like nice. 40. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, while Daphne goes ahead and rearranges uh, the crypt keepers, uh, Camille and Zadar, you can walk down to the other end if you we, like. We do. We do. There so. are two, four, five brazers here if you want to continue to light them. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Zadar, keep zapping the brazers as we go. This long hallway has unlit oil sconces every 10 feet and are covered with mosaic murals showing the works of guest clerics working with people. Each cleric is interned within one of these crypts. This is uh, for the DM, not you guys. Mm. Oh. Keep going. <laughs> By all means. Uh, at the far end, you notice that the mural changes and it also ends up into another wrought iron gate. Uh, the mural is of a powerful looking bearded male. Of course. And you can assume it is guest. Uh, you notice that several of the mosaic pieces have fallen off onto the floor, and there is an iron gate directly in front of you. You hear a god awful screeching noise as Daphne continues to pull, tug, and scrape the wooden coffins around to a design more fluid or lack thereof, uh, to get her on Crypt Crashers. That's fine. <laughs> her new HGTV show, Daphne is Crypt, crypt Crashing. That's kind of cool, actually. 
Jesus. When they call, when they call, I think they call that frogging. We saw a movie about that, right? Oh, very good. <laughs> there you go, HGTV. There's your next uh, million dollar winner. Uh, make sure to go ahead and sponsor us. <laughs> like oddfishgames.com. <laughs> Like you know how we like go into the tombs in Egypt and like take stuff out. They're like there is this box. Then we open the box and there's nothing in it. But now everyone's dying because of COVID. So you know. I think that's maybe you should. Uh, Geraldo. <laughs> he doesn't know what that is. Hmm. That's true. So uh, you guys have a choice. You can look at the dumbass god mural or. Try that third and final key to see if it gets you into another crypt. Oh, well, God, let's try the key. Uh, with the last key properly identified, the lock uh, pops and ooh, this room is identical to the room that Daft, well, was identical to the room that you guys <laughs> explored until Daphne decided to move it around like Ray hey. Charles doing a puzzle. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to um, look at the coffins and check the icon, uh, the seals and the runes. All are intact. Uh, and much like the other room, uh, there is different iconography in chipped paint for each of the coffins. Okay. So there's nothing different about this room from the other room. Uh, there are two less coffins in here. <gasps> They're waiting for two more people. That's huh. true. Archdeacon Dickhead has has some room in this one. Is there a fresco of him? Like, we're waiting for you. No, but there is a noticeable gap. So no. Okay. Mind the gap. Um Or don't mind it. <laughs> uh I'm gonna investigate the room. A little bit uh see if there's uh any perhaps traps uh doors anything any um any kind of significance to something that may fit this gem i don't know anything okay. give me an investigation check okay uh that would be 17. nice roll daphne you are you done rearranging I am. I feel fully satisfied, and I go. Cool. Give me three straight up D twenty rolls. Let's see if any of the coffins break. Oh come on! <laughs> Consequences. She was being gentle. Mm. I got a nineteen eight twenty. Okay. Ah, uh, the coffins maintain their structural integrity, uh -huh. and they are fine. Uh, do you want to go join your associates? I do. I go. Skipping lightly, Daphne heads down towards you guys. That are while your role was successful, you have succeeded in finding Jack and shit. Nice. <laughs> All right. So this is this has not been rewarding at all. Not at all. So what oh, about man. the gem? What about it? Does it fit anywhere? Uh, Zadar was trying to make I it checked, fit and I in this room, and it doesn't. It doesn't match anything on a casket or anything either, right? Nope. How about okay. if we go back up to the... Where we were before, when we were being attacked? Uh, the the kind of antechamber? Yeah. For the, for the crypt? I mean, okay. is there anything else down here? The god mural with missing pieces. Um... Okay, let's go look uh, at that. The missing pieces, uh, they lay on the floor. Can they be placed back? I mean, they're they're like little mosaic tiles, right? Sure, if you take it like a pirate dog dice and lick it and nice. stick it, because licking it and sticking it is important, uh, <laughs> would you like to use your puzzle-solving skills to see if that works? Of course. Uh, are you doing it or somebody else? Uh I'm doing it. <laughs> Give me an May intelligence chance. check. May chance style. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> intelligence check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Intel is not too shabby. So 20, not natural. 
Uh, Zadar, as you mage hand each of the individual dropped pieces, Damn right. <laughs> uh, Daphne and Camille are shouting out instructions, uh, and you manage to take all of the fallen pieces and put them back into the mural. But you all notice there is a missing piece. Which um, is? The picture? There, There's nothing on the floor. You've used all the pieces on the floor. Okay, what does it look like that the, the piece is actually filled in? I mean, could we make it's up It's an the... eyebrow. Yeah, he's missing an eyebrow. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> An eyebrow. And where where is the missing piece located on the mosaic? On the eyebrow. Oh, on the eyebrow. So not the eye, but the eyebrow. Eyebrow. Okay. okay. So that's good. <laughs> I cry. I make a dad joke about being brow beaten. So <laughs> fair. Camille, what? Is he vanilla ice? Is it like shaved or something? No, it appears to be a missing piece. Okay, I, I look around, uh, floor, whatever, see if there's any missing Every, pieces. Everybody looking around, give me an investigation check. Oh, God. Daphne, investigation. Come on, pay attention before I 16. freaking kill you. 16 for Six, Zadar. 16? Why did you let me run? 16. I got five. Two sixteens and a five. Yeah, that one. But I got plus four, so I got five. Wow. Uh, Daphne couldn't tell a piece from a hole in her ass at this point in time, as she's looking around, looking up, around. Uh, Zidar and Camille. Uh, Camille's holding the keychain and looks down, just at the same time Zidar. Looks at the keychain and notices that rectangular jewel. Rectangular? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Camille. <laughs> so I, I grab the. See, the I am, I'm guest when I do that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I grab the jewel, mage hand it to put it in place. <laughs> A loud grinding fills the corridor and dust falls from the ceiling. Uh, a portion of the wall recedes and then splits in half perfectly, revealing another fucking stairwell. Oh, for down. the love of God. For the love of God. <laughs> These monks freaking love their stairs. Daphne, as you are doing Itsy Bitsy Spider, the door opens up. <laughs> Who wants to go down the creepy stairs first? Uh, Zadar, you sure? Okay, I'm I'll not going to argue. Tap, 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 tap. I'll tap, send tap. Omen with her. <laughs> oh, very good. Thank you. Uh, okay, tap, tap, tapper. Um, I don't know. Give me a d20 so that you awake the dead. Nice. Twelve. Actually, two. Uh, as you tap, 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 you notice the cobblestone at the bottom of the stairs recedes instantly, showing spikes up. Had you not been tapping, you would have stepped on there and suffered severe lacerations. Thanks. Thank so you. So you have sprung the trap successfully. Uh, on the final step down, you notice that you are in an enlarged rectangular room. Just to your right is another oil sconce that is unlit. I zap it. Uh, I don't think you can see it yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. So, Camille, if you want, you can attempt to avoid the spikes and make a leap of faith. Or <laughs> pick up Zadar's fucking familiar and throw it down onto the spikes and kill it. Oh, which is my vote. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll do the opposite. Uh, Zadar Camille moves to one side and says, hey, there's an oil sconce over here. Okay. And does she tell us about the pressure plate on the floor? <laughs> or she did sprung? not mention that. Hey, I would say, I would tell them. 
Apparently, there's a pressure plate at the edge of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Omen. <laughs> row, row. <laughs> there, there you go, Daphne. Omen is your uh, scoob. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Zadar, you want to light it up? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and light it. Lighting this sconce uh, illuminates one quarter of this rather large room. Just at the very edge in front of you, you can see what appears to be a stone coffin. Hmm. Uh, you also uh, notice there's another oil sconce nearby. Okay. Uh, does it look like a sarcophagus? Uh, it it like does a, look like a sarcophagus. The, does it have like a relief image on, on, on the top? Not a relief image of a person, but it does have a relief images of ivy and is far, far more opulent than those shitty pieces of wood that Daphne was attempting to burn. Does it say M-E-N? It does not say anything. Even with the ivy coming down. There's no ivy here. Okay. That that's uh New Orleans where I nearly got the shit beat out of me right. by okay. over aggressive cops. Yeah. <laughs> you missed that part, of... folks. Yeah, that was a green room thing. So yeah. <laughs> just checking. Where? Okay. Those, those um, bouncers were odd fish and they weren't playing any games. No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, so I am gonna cautiously i'm looking at the floor looking at everything <laughs> working my way to the now other we're gonna see those spears come out his face the, yeah. that brazier and i'm gonna if i get in range i'm gonna light that brazier half the room is now illuminated uh showing the stone sarcophagus is far more opulent than those shitty coffins upstairs this is clearly a tomb of someone important or you can investigate the dark area that's that's where I'm headed. The dark area. Mm -hmm. oh, dark area. <laughs> yeah, because good things happen. In Come darkness. on, Daphne, pay attention. Stay with <laughs> us here. Uh, okay, Zadar is headed for the darkness. Go to the dark side. Camille and Daphne, what would you like to do? I'll go to the dark area. Yeah, yeah, we all go together. In a group, we'll be safe. You guys aren't murder hobos. Murder hobos separate into different divisions. Uh, <laughs> you notice that this end of the room is exceptionally dark, almost as though there were blight on the walls. Uh, you come up to a statue of a clerical looking type dude. Uh, and there is a strange sigil on the edge. I can't detect magic on myself. You've had that all along? <laughs> on, your, on yourself? Uh, on yourself? No, I do it now. Can I do it? Can I cast it? You can it? cast it. You can cast see. it, but uh, yeah, you aren't going to do it on yourself, right? You're just going to cast it. I guess. I don't know. What is it? One what act? it does is it makes you be able to see. You will know that there is something in the far left corner that is magical. There is nothing in the sarcophagus that is magical. So anything worth a value is over in the left but it's too dark you can't see what it is guys in the darkest part is the most the magic everybody roll initiative mm -hmm. there we go and there we go 12. 14. i beat you all uh the darkness begins to creep forward because the darkness is a black pudding, pudding? and it will yep and it will envelop you like guys. blood pudding Kind of, only nastier. Uh -huh. uh, the pseudopod forming a fist comes up. Three is going to punch Zadar in the mouth. Eight plus five, 13. Uh, I'm a little too wily for that. Swing and a miss as you guys see a glistening fist. Try and take a poke at your gender fluid friend. <laughs> we will go with uh, the 14. Zadar, you're okay. up. Um, damn it. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to cast Chill Touch. Huh? Um, so, yeah, that's a to hit. <laughs> AC7 to hit this bastard. Uh, yep. Yep. Easy to hit, hard to kill. Mm -hmm. Seven. <laughs> oh boy, just made it. Uh, next up, 12, Camille. 
Shocking grasp. Oh, that oh, that was nice. just to hit. Uh, oh, the damage was a whopping one. So wow. you barely hit the stupid thing, and then you did one hit point of damage. Yeah. Uh, light it up, uh, Camille. D twenty plus five to hit should be easy. A two on the die hits the damn thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see. Eleven. <laughs> so you hit it. So give me the what? One d eight. Daphne, you are on deck. Uh, six. Nicely done. Daphne, you are up. The black pudding has attempted to attack Zidar. What would you like to do? Push him in. Let him die. You don't have to split the treasure. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Um... Am I close to it? Or am I far further away? Oh no, it's a wall. It's just a black wave. Mm, delicious. All right, I guess I'll just attack it. You said a seven? Yeah, seven hits it. Got a nat twenty. Ooh, damage! Nice. Reroll damage. Add your modifiers. Congratulations, you hit Jello. There's always Jell room for Jello. Jello. <laughs> Wait, what are my modifiers? Uh, I assume strength. Uh, so roll damage, roll damage, add your strength modifier. I'm doing both damages, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. you nat 20 to... Yeah, it's double damage. That's an 18 damage. Nicely done. Somebody brought her A game. The black pudding reels and then winds up. Going after Camille. Yeah. We'll, we'll use the root beer die from Pirate Dog Dice. <laughs> 13 plus 5, 18. That's going to blast Camille. No. AC 18. I think you're lower than that. Hip. Mm, yeah. Pretty, okay. I'm pretty sure I punched your yeah, shit. Yeah, you did. Uh, it was at it, disadvantage. Why is it at disadvantage? No touch. Oh, because it's slowed. That's mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. uh, another 13. <laughs> 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 so at least it wasn't a natural 20. Yeah. Uh, here is where the pain actually begins. Because while the pseudopod only does 1d6 plus 3... The acid does 4d8. <sighs> that is a lot of fucking ones. <laughs> uh, Jesus. 8, 2. Uh, 12 hit points of damage, Camille, as you scream in pain. Uh, Zadar, your associate has been struck, and you hear the sizzle. It sounds like bacon. I was like, Big home. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> I'm going to cast Chill Touch again. So another ghostly hand's going to It's going to attack the smack the wall. Are you going to do better than a one this time? We can hope. <laughs> we can hope. Uh, let's see. Okay. A 25 does hit. Yeah, it's AC7. <laughs> For a big whopping four damage. Woo! Ow. Uh, as Camille Necrotic. Is... <laughs> well, that works. As Camille has stepped away, I'll go ahead and let Daphne attack, and then Camille can attack when she returns. 18 to attack. Oh, yeah. You need a seven, dear. <laughs> Five damage. Nicely done. Uh, Camille stepped away. I'm going to have her use her staff. Oh, 17 plus whatever, so I'm assuming that's a hit. Uh, five damage. Uh, ah. 39. Uh, top of the order. 
Uh, that's a five. Daphne, you're up. Uh, two plus five is a seven. I don't think that's going to hit you, does it? Oh, seven to hit? No, not at all. Zidar, uh, one associate's been hit and one got a miss. You are up. Uh, do I do I know that whether it's organic or inorganic or both matter that it devours? Give me an intelligence check. Okay. Oh, gosh. Please roll well. <laughs> um, 14? The stone underneath it is not dissolving, uh, okay. so it doesn't eat inorganic material. It did feast on Camille already, so you do know that it does go after organic material. Okay, I'm going to use my action to step into a shadow and swipe from, from the shadow with the scimitar. Uh, Zadar makes sweet, sweet love to the statue, but swings his blade around the corner to attack. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Go ahead and row. You look like the fuck it stick figure uh, up against the statue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Okay. Use uh, that on a coworker today. Nice. How'd that go? <laughs> you thought it was hilarious. Uh, 13 hits, I imagine. And yeah. It yeah, seems easy to hit. <laughs> easy to hit. It's, a, it's just a big undulating wall of blackness. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. 11 points of damage that time. Oh, there you go. Uh, Camille, you hit on the last time. What do you want to do this time? I had you use your staff last time. Uh, yes. Sadar so suggests cold. <laughs> do I have that? You got Ray Frost. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, hit it. Mm. Hit it and quit it. That's <laughs> what the Purdue cheerleaders used to uh. tell me. Uh. <laughs> is it a one? Yes. Uh, 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 give me a D6. It's about time somebody got hit by their friend. Aww. Three. Zidar takes a slap shot. <laughs> give me your damage roll and have it for me, please. Zidar, you've got frozen treats. <laughs> How much damage, Camille? Uh, Hopefully it's just one blast. <laughs> Somebody's got two scoops. <laughs> two. Uh, halved is one, one. Uh Daphne. I'm like, ah. <laughs> uh, it, it took a swing at you last time. What do you got in your wheelhouse? Thank you. What? We're still attacking it? Oh, yeah. This thing's got a zillion hit points. I forgot to add in the sneak attack damage. I'll do that next round. Is is that okay? If you want to roll it now, I don't care. Okay. Than it? Would it kill it then? We have all these things. Zadar's got the holy water, so you can shout to him to use it. I can try it. Um, use God spit. Use God spit. Uh, yeah. Another six point sneak attack damage. Gotcha. Uh, but right now, Daphne, it's your turn to. Uh, Seven <laughs> So it hits and then eight damage. Oh, very nice. Uh, and then I say, use the holy water. Use the force, Luke. Uh, Zadar, it somehow senses you are about to use God spit, and it takes a whack at you. Okay. Eleven plus five, sixteen. Uh, cunning action. Uh, well, it misses me anyway. My, Swing my AC, and a miss. Uh, my AC 17. Zidar, you're up. Okay. I'm going to give it a schwitz of the, the, the holy water. The Jewish uh, religion know. is happy that you've gone ahead and sponsored them. I say, is this, dude, does the Jewish religion have holy water? Sure. No, but, you know, they always, they, they always... 
My religion checks a three. I don't. They know. always make a joke at, at that expense, anyway. So, <laughs> Zidar, our Daphne suggesting using holy water? Do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm just gonna do a little flick to see if it recoils or anything. Sure, holy water. Mm -hmm. See if you hit it. All right. So, please be a one so you can blind an associate. Not twenty. Very nice. How much damage are you gonna do? Uh, never mind. Never has mind. No effect. Right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Camille. Uh, apparently, Zadar is watering the fucking plants now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been hit once. What do you want to do with this thing? Uh, can I do shocking grasp? Sure. Uh Wow. What was that? That's player knowledge versus character uh, knowledge is what that shit is. Okay, I do that. Okay. Hit it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, man. <sighs> What's your... Is that it's a one easy again? to hit. It's easy to hit. Oh. It's a one again. Roll a d6. Oh. Let's hear it for Camille. She's lighting up you guys. Making my life easy. Two. Hits herself. Roll oh. your damage and take half. How are you looking, Camille? <laughs> Daphne, bring in the heat. Two. So one damage. No, that's... No, two. Oh, okay. Daphne, what do you got? Two is what you have left? No, that's... The damage. Two is how much damage she took. I want to hmm. It's not really damaging us. Is anyone dying? Oh yeah. <laughs> Camille's gotten the shit kicked out of her. Oh you did? Um how badly are you, Camille? Eh. I still have a healing potion. And you've already touched yourself, Daphne, so... That's some points left. Can't do it anymore? We didn't rest? No rest for the wicked. Uh -uh. Fire heal. What do you want to do, Daphne? Um, what is this? Is it? I guess it's a fiend or undead, right? Uh -uh. Sure, you don't know. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'll take Can an insight check. Channel of divinity. Yeah, you can channel divinity. Huh? Right? Yeah. Well, then there's channel divinity turn the unholy. Mm -hmm. Sure, you want to do that? Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this, but yeah. Back, foul beast. Okay, top of the order. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't do anything to it? It doesn't do shit. Uh, let's see if it, if you got its attention, though. Whoops. Zadar, it has a real thing for you. <laughs> that is a three. Okay. Uh, 14 plus five is 19. Uh, I'm going to try to dodge out of the way with the bonus action, if that's possible. Uh, Do I roll against you or something? Yeah, D12 against me. We'll see okay. if that works. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be kind. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Uh, I'll allow you to dodge and take half damage. Okay. Fair? That's fair. <laughs> oh, crap. How many hit points did you have? Not a lot. How many? Eleven. You're still alive. <laughs> How many ten, da ten damage. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> You're still alive. You're fine. Okay. Uh, With that, yeah, I'm going to 
I'm gonna pop a potion. All right, fair enough. One on my action. Yeah. One d eight plus two, no ones. Okay. But if you roll a one three times, it's a one. Uh, uh, Camille, do some damage. Seven plus two. Would that be him? Okay. All right. See, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, fine. Camille, rock the house. Hmm. Camille, I should point out that the black gelatinous thing, that's your enemy, not Zadar, not Daphne. Just giving you help. <laughs> giving you the hand. Just You're just asking. Just a little info. <laughs> To do fog cloud. That's what you're asking. Your fog cloud's gone. You've already used that one. Ah, oh, damn it. Um... Unfortunately, my my spells aren't gonna work. No, they aren't. Strange how that happens. I wonder how, why I picked these creatures. Yeah, yeah. It's you almost know. like I wanted to fuck you guys over intentionally. Well, what do you got, Camille? Shocking grasp. Shocking grasp will work. Okay. We'll do that. Instantaneous lightning springs from my hand. Yep. Love lightning. And 1d8. Eight. The lightning rips through the black pudding, separating it into two independent black puddings. However, the eight hit points is enough to make one of the puddings drizzle away. Ah, uh, Daphne, the smaller pudding ain't looking so hot. I attack it, obviously. Now that I know I can't do anything. Uh, it's going to hit. I'm assuming it's a change. Five damage. <laughs> It is really looking dead. Nice. <laughs> Math is never my strong suit. Uh, the last of the black Hence pudding. The that's right. Uh, the last of the black pudding drizzles off into the area of the floor covered by the strange sigil uh, as it dissipates. The area that Daphne noticed was magical is a bookcase. Believe in magic. So we're gonna yes. we're gonna inspect that bookcase. Uh, the bookcase seemed to have held several tomes eaten away by the acidic properties of the black pudding. However, there are three jade scroll tubes mm. still intact. Nice. Uh, everybody, roll a d12. I assume you're all going to grab one. Mm-hmm. Twelve. Why find other dice on here? Ten. Now, uh, are are any of the other tomes like still sorta intact, or they're just gel? They're just fucked. Okay. Uh, with a twelve, Zadar, you reach out and you grab the first one. Give me a d six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Uh, Camille, you were next. Roll a d six. Three. Re roll. Six. Uh, and that leaves the last one for Daphne. Uh, Zidar, do you guys want to open up these scroll tubes? Of course. Yeah. Uh, Zidar, you open it up, and there is a second level mage spell contained in yours. Camille, there is a second level clerical spell contained within yours. Oh, I'm sorry, you had the six. You have a protection from minor elementals scroll. Uh, Daphne, you got the second level clerical spell. <laughs> Everybody roll perception. Uh, let's see. Eight. God, you need you need some dice from Pirate Dog Dice. Here. <laughs> Twelve. Nine ones. Zadar? Twenty-four. Uh, Zadar and Camille, 
you hear the sound of rushing water underneath the strange sigil. Hmm. Sounds like water under here. <laughs> Should we you know, investigate? Well, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Uh, does there look like anything that can be moved on the floor? There is a loose stone, and when lifting it up, uh, there appears to be a tattered old rope that doesn't look very secure that leads down. You can hear the sound of rushing water, but you cannot see anything because it is dark below. Hmm. What does it smell like? Uh, smells like water. Smells moist. <laughs> um, Everybody loves the word moist sure do <laughs> moist connotates everything i i'm gonna start pulling up the rope and testing it's pretty it for, it's pretty old <laughs> and I, that's what i'm doing i'm testing it for tautness to see uh, how mm. it pff, not looking good huh nope damn it um daphne do you have the light cantrip By chance, <laughs> she's a paladin. I mean, I don't need any light. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can smash out the bookcase and set the wood on fire. Could do that. Or was it there a lit torch in the room? <laughs> Those were the oil sconces. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, I'll find something to use as a torch. So if it means smashing that bookcase, I'll go ahead sure. and do it. Okay. You want to drop the torch down into the hole? No, I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> you aren't going to see shit. Oh, okay. Um, all right. At that point, I'll let it go. Odd even. Odd. It's a dollar. <laughs> you got to roll. Oh, I got a roll. Okay. Ooh, even. Four. Good news is the torch clatters down on some stonework uh, about 15 feet down. Okay. Uh, from the glow, you can see had it been odd, you would have doinked it into the river. Okay, that's what I figured. <laughs> so, 15 feet. It's going to hurt if you guys jump down there. If any of you have a rope, you can attach it to the statue and descend. Z Zadar does. So, if you um, want to attach it to that giant statue you were humping earlier. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You drop the rope? I drop the rope. It's going to require a little uh, arrow flynn kind of swing. Who wants mm -hmm. to go first down the rope? Uh, Omen and I will. I got a freaking tressum. I could have sent the tressum down the, the hole. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, shoulda. Uh, okay, give me a Omen dex flies check. down. I arrow flint it. So uh, doing a dex check. Mm -hmm. You can use acrobatics if you want. Oh, Let's go with dex. <laughs> uh, okay, not too bad. 23. Uh, Zadar quickly squirrels his way down the rope and lands on the uh, uh, rough stone below. Come on down, everything's okay. <laughs> Who wants to go second? Go ahead, Camille, give me a dex check. Oh, Lord. <sighs> One. Very nice. Oh my lord! <laughs> Take three hit points of damage and land in the river. Give me a, another dex check, please. Oh. Hopefully, it's not swift. <laughs> Seventeen. It is swift, but she manages to grab a hold of a loose rock and pull herself on. Daphne, oh, I to help descend, her up. Descend at, with a dex check. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I dry her off. Press the digitation. Advantage, I get five. Four hit points of damage as you too land in the drink. Give me another dex check. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, four. I'm just going to die. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, it's not even worth it. It's just, it's real bad. Two hit points and one last check. Oh my god. You have a healing potion, don't you? Me too. Zadar, you have mage hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was, alright, eight? Still not good. I thought it was a one at first. Okay. Uh, and an eight is good enough to catch the rock. Okay. Uh, uh, you slowly, in the case of Zadar, uh, descend into the cave and swing, attempting to miss the raging river that cuts through the north face. The rough features of the cave indicate uh, that... What the fuck is that? <laughs> if the DM does it now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a spelling error. Uh, oh, okay. It has not been tooled and is most likely a throwback from the land was first made. This is a cave. Oh, uh, no. A rock pillar holds up an arched ceiling and, is, and has uh, etched uh, prehistoric images in it. A wooden urn with two faces carved in it sits in the corner. Um, does uh, she still have uh, detect magic up? I think oh, it's no, ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but she got dunked into the water. Oh, okay. Times. So. Yeah. yeah, that concentration shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daphne, give me uh, give me three d twenty rolls. We'll see if you survive that. Oh my God! What is going on? That'd be a no. <laughs> that's a no. Do you want this? No, that's a no. Uh, so no, her uh, magic is not up. So this uh, wooden carved urn is the only thing in this room, apparently. Okay. Um, before I go forward, I tell Daphne, you might want to take your healing potion right now. <laughs> I'm not too badly damaged. Actually, it's not Daphne. It's Camille that's hurt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Camille, how are you looking? Yeah, I'll take my healing potion. E8 plus two, no ones, unless there's three ones in a row. Getting ready to throw the pirate dog dice here. Uh -oh. Because this is an odd fish game entirely. Oh! Five. Five plus two, seven hit points back. Uh, the top of the urn appears to be sealed in mud, not wax. And there um, appears to be no discernible exit from this chamber. Uh phew. Okay. Well, at least we got the room. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take a look at the urn. Use mage hand, kind of turn it around. It has a what appears to be a male face carved in it. God damn it, I knew it. And then a female face carved into it. Uh, neither image... Rings a bell? Rings a bell. Nothing like a... And one looks sad? Yeah. Just two two faces carved in it. Okay, and you said it's sealed in mud, not not wax. Not wax. Okay. Um, hate to disturb remains. <laughs> so, uh, Camille, what do you suppose we do with this? Hmm. Burn it. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Just like the hot topic, burn it down. Burn um, everything. Burn the people. I am strangely comfortable with that. With what? Burning the urn? Burn it. Sadar, you're closest to it. I don't give a shit what you do. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to Pandora box it. I'm going to remove the top <laughs> no. Fair with the mage hand i assume mm -hmm. as the mage hand begins to chip away at the mud you each hear Martin. uh the mud is chipped away and the lid is lifted off a slight stench of death fills the chamber it quickly dissipates as the water wafts it out. Okay. Um, oh, you get to kill, kill everyone that drinks the water. <laughs> Still hearing that chipping sound. Yep. What would you like to do? Uh, and 
do I hear what direction is it coming from? Is it coming from the urn? No, it's coming from the wall south of the urn. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I inspect the wall. It's a cave wall. It's just a cave wall. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now that is that is strange. I look inside the urn. What do I see? Once the urn is open, the adventurers will also discover a necklace made of small bones and a small walking stick. Uh, the walking stick has the head of a duck <laughs> on it. Huh. At that point in time, a loud crash is heard from the south as stones tumble in and a bright, glaring light focuses in on you. Everybody roll a d4, please. Okay. Three. Two. One. The blinding light causes Daphne to lose focus for one round, Zadar to lose focus for three rounds, and Camille loses eyesight for two rounds. Uh, the light appears to be coming, uh, in the brief glimpse that you had, uh, from a bullseye lantern. A familiar voice declares loudly, the texts were correct. I have found her tomb. Oh, hello, old friends. Daphne, hello. as your vision starts to return, you see a fat, balding man with uh, spectacles on his face carrying a load of parchment. Uh, Camille, your eyesight returns first. Uh, and as your eyesight dimly makes out the edges, you hear, it is I, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor from the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony. I have just discovered the tomb of an old love named Booty Who. Booty Who. Oh, Welcome. my God. You have probably deduced as much as I recognize you, Camille, and you, Zidar. All three of us have met, my beloved. <laughs> and I present the urn to him. <laughs> it was just like, I think this is the remains of your betrothed. He reaches in and he pulls out a pile of colorful feathers reminiscent of the time you observed her in no, her feathered no, cape. No, no. There is also the bone necklace and the quarter or the quarter staff. Oh god, are we gonna run it. into the mummy returns kind of thing? <laughs> yes. Yes we are. You guys gonna keep it or donate it to Mortimer J. Sneed? Keep it. One vote keep. I kind of want to see where this goes. Give it to Mortimer. I give it to Mortimer. What uh, piece do you want to keep, Daphne? I keep the necklace. Sure, that's fine. Uh, folks, uh, let's call it a draw. These guys have lived. They have not found any magical items that will benefit from under these nuts uh, or the comatose councilman which was uh. kind of by design uh let's go with final thoughts uh daphne aka caitlin what'd you think it's good to finally be back playing D. Welcome yes. back. Nice. nice welcome back, back. <laughs> although you guys said this is like a storyline you were playing before uh kind of kind of yeah mostly I'm just slightly missing some pieces, but yeah. and you should be missing you just found some a, pieces. And you just found a big one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, if you go back and watch episode 100, you'll uh, know. <laughs> you'll you'll understand completely. Uh, David, aka Zadar, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> you know, I didn't die, so that's always damn good. And I got to be my Joan Jet self. So. Uh, Camille, you still have the Necronomicon, right? I do. Okay. 
worth 500 gold pieces. I'm going uh, and I have mending so I can fix anything Nicely that's done. maybe You cannot I'm... fix the missing pages though. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Those pages okay. are gone. Uh, yeah. Camille, a.k.a. Carrie, a.k.a. our producer, a.k.a. Pirate Dog Dice Entrepreneur, what'd you think? I am conflicted. Very uh -oh. conflicted. You know, uh -oh. Mortimer J. Sneed has found a way out. I know he has. That's why I'm conflicted. <laughs> he, <laughs> he has saved him. us all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like watching Galaxy Quest. There you go. <laughs> uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, go ahead. Uh, if you want to chat with us on Discord, it's there. Uh, if you want a seat, most importantly, in a game uh, like The Return of Caitlin, let us know. We'll try and get you moved in here. Saturday is the campaign, so that is a no-go. No, non sequitur. It ain't going to happen. But next week, more games. Don't forget, uh, we, Adventures in Philbar, are going to be at Gen Con. Don't forget, oddfishgames.com slash AdventureSense going to be doing their cat rpg so take a look at that yeah. seats available on monday to sign up for gen con uh sadly it's like two bucks to play but it's free to sign up look around uh if you go with adventures in Philbar, you're gonna get some freaking swag if you send us your email we'll get that shit sent out to you for all of us here at uh, murder hobo inc and odd fish games Thanks for joining us tonight. We will see you on Saturday for the campaign. Uh, producer, how about showing that cool oddfishgames.com video as we all wave goodbye and wash our hands and make sure to cover your mouth, people. Don't be mm -hmm. a creeper. Be safe.